Attention all units, attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. Attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. We are changing from a Code 3 direct pursuit to a Code 347. Completely lost due to incompetence. Delicious again, Peter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you joking, John? I thought you were joking with me. I guess that wasn't a joke. We you look on the new cameras and just look at the monitor. He's not joking. We're welcome to the alive. show, everybody. Uh, welcome to Amsterdam. We're here tonight. Uh, it's just us three. It's uh, uh, my good buddy Joel and uh, super fabulous Don T. Tibbetts. What's going on? And of course, I hope you love my new T-shirt. Uh, it's not from a salon, even though it looks like I got my hair done at a salon. <laughs> what does that Thank mean? Thank you for asking. What does that mean, though, that symbol? This is the, What's oh, that this symbol? Is, this is a very, very uh, great symbol. We had this human on the show uh, three weeks ago. Okay. And it's the one and only. Let's see if Joel can remember. Oh, yeah. Stop vlogging! No, no, oh, no, you got to do it again. The camera just, uh, oh, yeah, you, you got to, yeah. Just vlogging! No, he still didn't get it. Hold on a sec. No, he didn't. Stay going. Go no, hold on. No, he didn't get it yet. Hold on, hold on. One more time. Do it one more time because he just told me. Where's our T-shirt? He's the worst. Where's us? You're the worst. I got it at the uh, Wild Rover when I went to see him there. Really? Yeah. We didn't get us one. Because I don't have that much money. Oh, you paid for it? Oh, well, I he's. Not, yeah. I thought he was. How just... much you paid for a Josh Logan T-shirt? May uh, I ask? Or is that private? Are you? Okay. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, though. forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a, a a trip to New Jersey to see him at his next gig. Oh, tickets come with the T-shirt. <laughs> if you go tickets. To, if you go to Walmart, nine ninety nine. Oh, I'm sure if it yeah. was there. If you buy yeah, the second one, it's yeah, fifty for, percent off. Right. For a, yeah, nine ninety nine for a Josh Groban oh. T-shirt, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Josh Logan. Uh, you get him confused with Josh Groban. They rub it off. Oh my gosh. Hey, for the first time that uh, guys are uh, watching us tonight. Uh, don't be afraid to pick up the phone, 413-0223. Yeah. Let it rip. Uh, it's just the, uh, like Peter mentioned before, it's a leisure night tonight with, uh, with, with Don T, uh, Peter, and the Moose, and just any, hey, if you have anything on your mind, just call. We got three professors. That's correct. Well, I don't know if And because we're, we are professing, uh, don't forget it, hump day! I'll tell you what, if I was a professor, I could get a different background than this. You could. Yeah. If, but you're not John Eric O'Neill. I'm surprised. I'm you're very not surprised. You're not yeah, in charge of that. But don't you that. think, you know, John you Eric O'Neill let me, uh, like, I don't know. I'm, it's what you call, Peter, technical difficulty. Now, w when they took this picture, if you look at this picture of Manchester, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful picture. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the, what we used to call when it, when it first was built here in Manchester, the 9X Tower. Okay, yes. Then the now, Bell Atlantic Tower. Now, this used to be the tallest okay, wait a uh, second. Uh, take. building in Manchester. Well, yeah, now there's two okay, others that are father, taller. My father broadcasted from the top take. of that thing when take. it was the Amscape. Why don't we say Now, did this building this right thing, here, this building was built it, in 1992. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, and, and it's got John, that. can you get us over here? That different can thing. Can you zoom in over here or something? Well, what are you doing? Watch, like, well, you can, he, what are you he, doing out there, John? You tell the guy, like, <laughs> you're giving him, like, ten different things to do at no, once, Peter. No, I'm not. He did it. He did them all. It's okay. what you know is. But yes, what so are you saying, though? Right what do you say? 
Did they call the the owner and said put all the lights on tonight? No, you no, don't see that not, many no, lights no, no, on. No, now that building came after this building. Of course, this 1992, is the plaza. 1970. The plaza. Now 1970. the seventeenth, the seventeenth uh, floor. Floor. Thank you very much. Seventeenth floor was. Uh, uh, old man Clausen was up there. He was the head of uh, public service. <laughs> old so man, we, yeah, old, old man Clausen. Yeah. Old man Clausen. Oh, yeah, great guy. Is he related uh, to the Pickles? No. Oh, no okay. Relation oh, okay. I just want to. No make, relation at all. I just, oh, I just we want to get a chance to go up there as kids <laughs> and go. Hey, I feel wow, like, what a view up here, you know I mean? feel like I'm playing. You know now, what? T, if you look at uh, the monitor right now and what people are seeing on TV, yeah. I feel like we're playing like the twenty-five thousand dollar pyramid. Yeah, we are. So, that was hilarious. Now, over here, where you see the uh, formerly the high, high five. five. The high five, five was five. great. By Peter Tell. We had, right oh yeah, there. oh my gosh. That place, we rocked, and I tell you, if there's a thunderstorm, everyone went there just to see it, because there was windows all the way around. I was a young Beautiful. Kid. But I was Beautiful. I had been twenty one up there also, like towards the towards when it ended. Oh yeah. And there was functions up there. Oh, and yeah. I had the pleasure of DJing a function uh, up at the high five and it's great. Get out, you yeah, did? It's fun. That's when I was really younger, cool. I'm a younger thing. Back yeah, in the days before I knew yeah, if I knew we, Peter Townsend, he'd probably throw yeah. me a few beers. Hey, we, we got a first call of tonight. Let's, oh, let's, get, back, call. let's get back in a place team. Hey, that was great. Hi, <laughs> uh, you're first tonight on Amsterdam. Hi, I have a couple of questions for the uh, panelists. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, is we, it true that uh, Joel Elber has uh, gone back to the Republican Party? I saw him tangoing with Chris Christie, who is rather light on his feet for a uh, fat man. And I'd also like to ask Peter White, was that your daughter that was featured in the Hillary, Ready for Hillary? Well, Hillary for President now video. With that, I'd say good night, gentlemen. It's oh hilarious. yeah, Hoppy. Great, great, Hoppy great jumps right out. Great, you don't want to hear this. You know, debris. great disguised voice. Hi. Okay. Hi. So first, so let me answer him, and then, yeah, and then you answer. can deal with him. Yeah. First okay. of all, uh, Hopwood or Hoppy, um, still a Democrat uh, and not not a Republican. So we get that record straight. And but you had a nice meeting with him. We did. We did. And, we and, yeah. and it was nice that you got the picture with him and everything. Me and Christy bonded for about. Well, at least about 15 seconds. Nice. I'll tell you what, tonight. guys. This this is exactly... Um, um, John Eric are you paying attention to the cameras? Ah, there you go. Thank you so much, John. Never mind. Never mind what I said about the cameras. But I'll tell you what. Joel, we, we, we came down uh, to the studio here yesterday. And we drove around. There was no parking. It was like, it was like noontime. Yeah. No parking. Drove around three times. How many times can you drive by Panucci's? <laughs> you know, the Hanover Street, Lowell Street loop. And, uh, Man, you finally, should have called me. I'll tell you right to go to park. No, he has a handicap sticker, too, and they were all taken. Wow. So the handicap yeah, were all believe that. A lot of people are handicapped lately in Manchester. Well, yes. But that's okay. I, I, hey. You know, I'm not touching that line yet. Go ahead with your story. Well, I'm going to continue that... We got down there, and a spot opened right in front of Cesario's. And Joel, Joel says, you know, CNN's there, the ABC News is there. And uh, Joel asked him, well, what's going on? Oh, yeah, Chris Christie's going to be here in like five minutes. Right. So I'm like, okay, let's just chill out. Joel, when he comes down, you finally meet, you know, Chris Christie is on his way to this event at Cesario's. Joel cuts off Janet Wu from WCVB Channel 5, <laughs> cuts off Fox 25 News, Gets right in Christie's face yeah. and just says, hey, can I get a picture? And yeah. he had no choice but to take a picture with Joel. Yeah. And it was great. You, yeah. you were so, uh, I'm going to say that was very bold. Yeah. I'm yes, he's I'm very bold. I'm surprised he didn't get tasered. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> trip him and take him away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, me, Chris. Mike, you yeah, got we, a great shot. Yeah, we did. Now, yeah. did you have a chance to talk to him at all? Yeah, uh, just a little bit. I said, you know, how you doing? Nice to meet you. And uh, you know, the lady yeah. in Manchester. Yeah. You know, good luck in the campaign. Yeah, and you got the yeah. picture, and that yeah, was it. Yeah, got the picture, yeah. Because actually, when you see the picture, I mean, he looks the same size as you. Uh, no, he's a little more heavier than me. No, well, about yeah. the same. 
Yeah. We're yeah. saying we're saying it's about the, same. Oh, yeah, yeah. about the same. Yeah, about the same. He well, thought it was your twin so brother at first. Actually, he sent me a he's message. He's losing weight, and uh, you're, you're gaining uh, weight. You're you're just looking svelte. Maybe this is Chris Christie now. Hi, Hello. you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Yeah, hey, how are you? I just have a question. How much does Chris Christie weigh? Can you tell me how much that guy weighs? Well, uh, uh, two nineteen. Yeah. I was going to say 225. No See, way. I'm down, I'm down. 225 to 230. Do we pounds. have do we have official I'm down 6 pounds. I say 230. Two, I, I say 219. But you got to see his gonna, wife. I saw his wife close up. Very very pretty. Oh, oh, the, wife, going I, out. the wives are always have, knock How out. much is Chris yeah, Christie weigh? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, very Two nine, nine, yeah. You think no, he's no, the no, used to. He used to. Oh no, he's Well, he had that he had that uh he had that bypass no. surgery. Not bypass no, surgery. No, he, oh, he, no, he, no, he had the shoelace tied. Oh, no. <laughs> the shoelace tied. Yeah. Does that mean his feet are slim? What are you telling me? <laughs> we don't even tied. know what that means. The hell is that? Well, that's a, tied. It, well, well, the tiny... That's a limbago? No, it's supposed to shrink your, it's supposed to shrink your stomach. So, you, so... What's that so really you called? None less. of us can think no. of it right now. What's so it called? It's, it, it's a. Uh, it's I, I can't even think of it right now. What do you do? What happens when you get that done? Is it Enoch. A, no. What the? Is it a tapeworm? No, it's worse no. than that. No. The tapeworm eats everything. <laughs> no, no, eats he the fat away. Had, he had a little uh, procedure. Which, What's it what called? Though? What's that about? procedure called? It's called a little hit in a. And That's what, <laughs> and it's better now. What is that procedure called? It's, you're not allowed to say it out loud. Maybe it's an anaconda put up procedure. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. Hi, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Hi, Carla. Hi, Joe. Aren't you ashamed of yourself for having a handicap license plate and using it? When there's elderly people like me that can never find a parking space because people like you and Peter are using it. Well, first of all, Carla, I am handicapped, and second of all, well, I do have. Does have a does mentally handicapped count? I do have. Yes, a, I, yes. I think that's what it is. He was hitting a shovel as a youth. Hey, if it has a guy in a wheelchair and a blue background. He can park there. And Carla, I do have a wheelchair in my car in the back seat, and Peter pushes me on Elm Street. Big joke, Joe. You are a joke. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Thank you for calling. That's Mrs. X. She's that's always it. she's always had a uh, yeah. dozen like a uh, joke. Thing. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You no, know, I mean, no, I know she did, no, it's not a handicap thing. I think she just there doesn't is, like Joe. She has something against me, Mrs. There X. Are people, I don't know what it is. I, I, there are people that have handicap uh, license plates that can still actually walk. You know, nowadays, people are, if you have a handicapped license plate, they want you to fall out of your car. You know what I mean? And, you know, crawl. You know what I mean? It's terrible. They, uh, you know, yeah, they don't realize Joe, Joe limps if it's a all back the way. thing. They don't realize if it's a knee thing. They don't realize that, you're, you know, maybe your ankles are frozen. And, you know, there's a lot of different reasons that people have handicapped plates. Well, I don't have one. I'll never have one. And uh, good luck with yours. Well, uh, Joel, uh, Joel, like, Joe limps all the way to the studio. Well, he has to. Well, I'm like right. Morty. What you know, on the commercial, on the Swifter guy, Morty. What is the that, deal with I'm Morty? What are, she what just doesn't mean? like you. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Who no, the hell no, is Morty? I don't think she likes me guy. anymore because no, I'm friends with you. That, eh? Probably. Yeah, you're cramping yeah, my yeah, style. I that. Yeah, well, you know what? We haven't heard from her in a long time, so Mrs. Morty? X, get over it. That's all. Very simple. Well, it's not very nice. Well, hey, that's the way I feel about it, Peter. What's the Morty thing? I don't know. Well, Morty. Well, you never see that commercial with Morty? No. Never seen nothing like that. A Swiffer commercial. You've never seen no, the I Swiffer watch a commercial? I do sports. I don't see these regular shows you guys It's on watch. sports commercial. It's on yeah, sports it's on, channel. Yeah, yeah, it's on that and that. Yeah, whatever yeah. channel the two you old people on. using the Swiffer. Ah, yeah. the dust. No, I never saw it. Really? Yeah, why? You like that? John Eric O'Neill, can you put that? No, 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 no commercials here. Yeah, that's right, no commercials. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over I wish John Eric would do something out there. I don't even know if he's out there right now. Oh, my God. That's the thing. I haven't heard from him. Uh, I got it. God. Hey, what about Black Acres? I couldn't believe they had that in the paper. Oh, my freaking word. What do you mean? No, <laughs> what do you mean Black Acres in the yeah, paper? Well, you know, there was a, a big stabbing. Well, and all yeah, that, we're familiar all, with that. All that, all that crap. But Chris it was Gagnon that now they say yes. it's that 
bl- it used to be called N word field. Right. <laughs> Forever. Which I didn't think it was right across from Calvary Cemetery on Gosson Back Road. My N field was out in Litchfield just before you get to St. Francis of Sister, you take that left. I thought that was a N field. But now <laughs> due to whatever. Black Acres. <laughs> it's is now that is a, is now the the that is a funny sponsorship st- of the last stabbing with that kid and all that crap that, when they you know when they hit, you know people were at a uh, fire and uh, uh, these war guys, games they're doing these these guys, war yeah games. war games they came in with a camo and the guy thought he was dying and oh what the fuck why is that oh my <laughs> god like, I don't know. Uh, no. But I'll tell you, oh, that's, no idea. That's that, a quick thirty seconds. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell, really? Black Acres? That's what they're calling it now. How did that even come out? How did they all of a sudden? Well, it's Black Acres, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Out of control. So it's it's an awful thing that happened though. That 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 uh, that oh, the day because the, the whole thing got out of hand and and it wasn't cool. So it's uh, well, it's bad. Like you know. <clears throat> Poor Percy Sledge. <laughs> Percy. He dies, 74 years old. The Great guy, song, by oh, the way. Oh, that man. That was a classic. Oh, man. Loves a woman. I tell you, that was his signature when song. a man loves, loves a woman. woman. I oh, mean, good that's stuff. powerful. It is. Powerful. It's, in, it's featured in the movie Platoon. You have to know, he was the king of slow soul. And, oh, yeah. You know, that's monster for you. Well, they I mean, five had, songs. Name five songs by Percy Sledge. Oh, I can uh, if oh, I had them in front can. of me. But he had <laughs> he had three more songs that were monster, just like that one. Actually, in his sitting career. on the dock of the and, bay. You know, no, 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 no. That's Otis Redding. Oh, that's Otis that's Redding. Otis Sorry. Redding. No, totally different. But he is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, and, he is. Uh, God love him. You know, he made it that long. I mean. Uh, the Man Loves a Woman is the number 53 song in the top 500 of Rolling Stone Man. That's awesome. I bet it is. Yeah. That's it a good is. song. Oh, yeah. How can you not? How can? Uh, how can you not like the song? Oh, I love it. it, it, it it's not even know, my me, gen- It's not even my generation. Me, it's, it's right at my uh, <coughs> what they call uh, pumpage. Anyway, we could hear the song. Could John Eric uh, pull that? Well, you'll have to ask him. He's John being kind of he's being kind of bitchy tonight. I think you're the bitchy How one, How tough Peter. is that? I mean, that's tough to pull a song up like you that. Say uh, John bit- Eric O'Neill, he's a You can say genius, bitchy, right, so, John? Yeah. He can do anything. Just, uh, just, you I, can't. I, you don't I, have I, to I, say. You don't have to. You don't have to uh, use the censor button when we say bitchy. We don't. Right, John? Well, why you, can't we hear you, you in the speaker turn, back yeah, here? You got to turn him up. We don't hear. Turn what are you busting his chops for? We don't You're hear. The one started it. No, no. Ever since we got here, we're nine fifty in the studio. It's John. It's John. That John. Do this. I mean, it's, yeah. What's your fuck? I, I what's mean, your uh, <coughs> problem? I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> You're next tonight on Amsterdam. <laughs> Get a caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What can we do for you? I was just calling in to. Uh, as you're talking about the person. Oh, okay. Sledge. Okay. I was just basically saying he's really good uh, artist, and I admire him. And uh... yeah, he was a classic, no doubt. Yes, he was. Okay. And just uh, reminds me of my grandmother's song, and you know, just brought back memories. Sure. Yeah, like I said, yeah. That, That's yeah. cool, man. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that was a big loss yesterday. Young, too. Maybe it's... you guys can play a small small little uh, sample of the song. We'll do it right now. Oh, we're John we're Eric trying, we're trying Thank to you get so it out much. There. John, can we hear that? We have a request. Uh, we'd like to hear uh, <laughs> Percy Sledge, uh, When a Man Loves a Woman. I'll tell you. John Eric O'Neill, It's one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's a great one. When a man yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, loves a woman. It doesn't oh, get I any tell better you. than that. I tell you, my nipples are hard already. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. well, just don't stand up. I know. Uh, okay. Um, I guess we'll never hear that song. Sorry, caller. So, anyways. Um, 
Don O'Neill isn't talking to us right now. How about some of the, <laughs> you know, how can a child discover dinosaur bones? I don't understand that. I've seen the story. Uh, a child story. discovers dinosaur bones. Uh, you know, what are you doing? Uh, just picking up the dog's poopy doopies? Well, and all of a sudden you look down and say, hey, what the Show heck, the kids you know? out there. I yeah, mean, th- unbelievable. That you find a that. dinosaur femur in Mansfield, Texas. Now, that kid, that's a, a unbelievable find. <laughs> unbelievable. So, anyways, I just thought I'd let you know about that. Have you, you know? ever done any digging? Yes. I've been a digger most of my life. <laughs> I'm still a digger. I, I'm digging it right now. Really? Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging it too, T. Yeah, right my now. nose Thanks. digs too, real down and uh, That's dirty. That's really great. All right. All right. right. Hi, you're next to the head on Amsterdam. Yes, sir. Yeah, what can we do for you, my friend? Hey, it's Scumpy. I, I think me and T have another song to learn. When a man loves a woman. <laughs> I think T will be the woman this time. I still got the wig, so... Are you sure that's going right? pretty well? <laughs> is he sampling the record there? I think that's beautiful, Scump. He sounds like Percy Sledge. <laughs> he is Percy yeah, why Sledge. Not, you know? Ah. <laughs> well, uh, he is Percy Sledge. I think his go the delay makes me crazy. <laughs> hey, Scumpy, you and the boys last week, uh, triple, uh, um, uh, 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 what? Uh, What's the name of the band? Uh, now that's what we have to do uh, to get on with the 44 show. 44 Magnum, you bonehead. Oh, oh, yeah, Magnum X. No, 44 <laughs> Magnum. He didn't even oh, get it oh, yeah. after you told him the answer. Oh, yeah, answer 44 team. Magnum. Great he, show. He last didn't even week. get it after you no, he can't. gave him the answer. He can't. Just he like can't. in high school. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that. That was a great show last week. It's Scumpy, worse you than and the uh, Magnum boys. <laughs> okay. You just said it's worse than that. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, Moose, this research will make some tear their hair out. I yeah, I read that, that today. It's funny. I was going to write a story about that. Yeah, tonight. you should because they <laughs> wanted to tear your looks hair like, out. Looks like now, team beat you too. I would, say, I would say uh, why tear your hair out because your hair is already gone. There's nothing to tear out. Just. <laughs> Comb what you have and call it a day. Moose now, is about what to did get you rid think of about this? Because there are uh, places you can go to have hair replacement. Right. And they say, it's just like real hair. I swim. I play volleyball. I comb myself. And I don't know anybody who's done that. Do you? I do not. I believe that. I do not. Hey, guys. Don't forget about last week. We have the Masters Challenge. Oh, the Masters Challenge. Of course, I, I must have won that. I was the king. I think I won. Oh, All right, here we go. Here we go. Are we coming up? Here we go. If there is a winning pick, the challenge is automatically won. If there is no winning pick, then the five picks with the lowest combined score in relation to par will win the challenge. If any picks miss the cut, they'll count as being one shot over the cut number. In the event of a tie, on-air planks will take place on the studio floor. Who can go the longest? If so, it would be hilarious. John Eric O'Neill is exempt, of course. But well, wasn't there a uh, inquiry? Looks like you know what a plank is, right? The winner is Jordan Spieth of the Masters. Yeah, oh yeah. What a great job he did. I don't know if you guys I watched watch it. it. Fourth round but was amazing. He kept his head down. He made some some shots. He broke where, records. Where people go, one shot, he's going, well, I think that he's laying up. I don't think he's going for it. And then, bang, he goes for it. it was John Eric O'Neill picked Phil Mickelson to be number one. I think that, wow, that's hilarious. And the rest of shit to bed. All right, Matt Coo, yeah. So he got yeah. one. So he got one. I got more than one. Who's um, oh, Paul's isn't a winner? Nope, you have Speed. I got Speed. You have Jimmy and Walker, had, uh, Ricky Fowler, and Tiger Woods. Yeah, I had a minus 25 and all, yeah. Where did I get? <coughs> I can't wait to see. Oh, Joel. Oh, you edged me out. You Jason win. Day is not a winner, John. No, no that's who I predicted no. to win. Oh, that's okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I 
What? You had Bubba? Oh, sorry, man. Oh I'm so sorry. I don't mean oh to be Oh, my God. Anything. Peter, look at you and Rory and Bubba and Angel Cabrera. And, oh, my God. Phil Mickelson. And, and wow. Wow. I can't believe it. Good Good. Uh, yeah. So what is the what, what happens now, John Eric? According to your magnificent rules, he takes you to the Red Arrow. No, about planking. Who has to plank? No one. No one's high. Joel no has high. to plank. Okay, Joel, you have to plank. Plank what? Do you know how to plank? You, plank. you know, I'm a young man in today's world. I, <laughs> uh, I, I, I used a condom once, and she still was pregnant. So I'm not sure about planking. Did you buy the condoms to me? Because I put the pinholes on them. No, I didn't. Oh, my know God. Either. Okay, just checking. Imagine that, Joel. I, I do imagine that. Did I know you in 1969, Joel? No, but maybe you would have. No, I didn't know you, so shut up about that. Well, maybe you would have from a book. And maybe happens, you need and, to be killed right and now. And I want it. Yeah. You guys don't have to fight over it. I won the Masters this I year. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank so you. So we I feel take good. you for fries. No, I don't think there's any prize. I think we should go for uh, uh, what they call fried clams. Oh, at uh, Theo's. You know, thinking of food, we want to thank uh, Ben and Jerry's last uh, yesterday for giving out uh, free ice cream. We went. We sat in line. Yeah, really? yeah. We Peter and I waited. We line only waited fifteen minutes though. But yeah. uh, my daughter said when she went, uh, she was around the corner by by the YMCA and the. The, the fried chicken place on the corner of Mechanic and Elm. Yeah, Mechanic Street. Great. But, uh, yeah, it was great. We had, street. me and Joel both had the same kind of ice cream. We had Tonight Dough featuring Jimmy Fallon. You don't have to tell me about that. Really, really really it it did. It well, featured. You guys are happy together. That's <laughs> no, all but, I care we were, about. We were know. happy together. It was right happy. after we saw Our ice Chris. cream was dripping. Uh, we had napkins, tea. Ice cream together. You know, yeah. It was right after we saw Chris Christie. <laughs> I hope you breathe together. So we went there. Yeah, good. Hey, listen. In this ice cream, it was uh, chocolate ice cream yeah. with peanut butter, um, um, cookie dough, chocolate mm. chip cookie dough, mm. and also some caramel. Mm. Yeah, it was a delicious. Lot of people, to die for. A lot of people are saying that that's very nice. You both had it. Did hey, John it? Eric, did you get a free ice cream yesterday? <laughs> we're the only, we're the only yeah, people John, you got to turn yourself up out here. We can't hear you. You know, hey, on that subject, uh, uh, let's say hi to the oh, uh, to the teams. Uh, uh, number, uh, uh, say hi to the gang down at the Pint. Uh, Don up here tonight working very hard. Great food down there. 50% on uh, drafts on Wednesday nights. Uh, good friends at Mugabe. Michelle's uh, working there and uh, oh. everything going out good. And always fine at McGavie's. And Panucci's and Murphy's and Pappy's. And hi, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. We don't promote Dam. Murphy's. No, no, that's yeah, right. Hello? Yeah, I was just talking about the uh, Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, was yeah. you there yesterday? Oh, I was there. I was in line and it was on the other side past the chicken place. Uh, mechanics. Yeah, dude, that's what we just said. Yeah, I was waiting there for a long time, and I had some good ice cream. Nice, 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 nice. They'll do and it again uh, next year. Balls, actually, ice cream they actually have. Oh, yes, that's great. And that's from huh? Saturday Night Live, and that's, it's very that's nice good. that that's you okay. enjoyed them sweaty balls. You're a genius. Because, uh, as a man in today's world, you can enjoy that ice cream. That's beautiful sweaty for balls. you. Everyone out there is laughing. Yeah, and um, at you. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I left anybody out. If I did, I'll get you next week. Hey, you know you what? Um, let's play a little game. I was watching uh, a game. Uh, family Feud. The okay. Family Feud. Okay, and I I jot down one of the questions, and yeah. and I got the answers. Yeah. Okay. So I want to play it out to the callers. And and uh, and to you, uh, T and 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 to White. So I'm going to read the question. Oh, John Eric, John Eric O'Neill. He he can even. Uh, uh, I don't think he's talking. He's talking to us on a limited well, basis right now. He turns it up. I can't hear. Okay, so this was the question. What's the question from okay, the, the family feud? Now I just want to make one point. Oh, oh, let's let's take this call and then we get into the question. Hi, okay. Hi. yeah. Next tonight on Masterdam. Let me, let me start with the first question on Family Feud. 
<laughs> Doyle. Who's the, who's the worst team in the American League East and pro, pro, possibly all of baseball? Ah, uh, good. Bing, bing. I'm going to say New York Yankees. Oh, uh, I thought he was going Minnesota geez, Twins geez. on Joey. It's only, what, six games into the season. Call me back in October. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> Mike, yeah, here we go. I they think Moose, horrible. I think Moose. I think Moose is taking us out to dinner. Hey, it takes a lot of sack to wear that hat. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Yankees lose tonight yeah. again? Yeah, there's no yeah, sack they lost, the, they lost tonight, 7-5. to five. Oh, jeez. He's well, They got nothing. They're well, dropping yeah. like a stone. Well, no pitching. They're, they're, they're dropping like all the girlfriends you used to have. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not touching that line. Right now, the pitching hey. is awful. <laughs> hey, hey, T, nice F-bomb. That was a beauty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it, hey, you, guys, know. you guys are speaking about Percy Sledge. Uh, you, forgot, <laughs> you forgot some classics. Percy Sledge songs. Oh, yeah. No, uh, no. We couldn't, we couldn't think of any. Sit, no. Sitting on the dock of the bay? No, that's Otis that's Redding. Otis Redding. Wasn't that him? No, no that's, that's Otis, Otis Redding. Yeah, Otis. No, he had a couple of other slow ballads that he did. That sounded like uh, the what same a man line, loves yeah, a woman. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, you really got a you really got a hold of me. You really no, that's by the Shirelles. Got a hold that. on me. Those, those are all Percy Sledge songs, I think. No. You really got no, a hold on me. You should know you're old enough. <laughs> yeah, we have. Are you kidding? Me? Yeah, I I, I, I should have wrote down the other songs that he went to the Hall of Fame with. Because there was like five songs that rock. You know what I mean? The, the guy was a, the, the slow soul. I just... He was a crew. He was, he was beyond before Barry White. You know what I mean? Caller, you're breaking up. Are you, are you, in, the, uh, are you in the Callahan Tunnel? <laughs> I think we lost him. Well, that's what happens. When he starts touching himself, it's terrible. <laughs> well, no, it was a bad connection. I think connection. we lost him. I think no, we no, lost him. No, it was him. a bad connection. We couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't even uh, hear him. I'm kind of worried about last, him now. Uh, a couple minutes. Someone's uh, jamming his signal. But, right. but I hope, I, I hope, uh, I hope, uh, hope, Doyle, uh, hope Doyle still listen to this. Okay, so the question is, this yeah. is all legit. I didn't make this up, gentlemen. Okay, name something. Most women don't do on a first date. Kiss. Kiss, that was, uh, okay, that was the number two answer. I'm going to say it pay. Was, wait a minute, it was swap, spit, slash Yeah, kiss. that's fine. Right. I'm going to say, two. so I have to beat number, I have to come up with the number one answer, and I'm going to say pay. pay. What is it? I'm going to say pay, pay for the date. Mm. You're next tonight on Master. What the hell? Why are like you guys cutting me off? I can't find out. Yeah, fine. Carla. That's like no yes, fun. hi. How you doing tonight? Good. How you doing? Good. Great, great show so far. I heard you talking about the uh, about that grave murder that happened across from Mount Calvary and everything. And actually, Joel Vassa had uh, one of the relatives on tonight for 35 minutes, and they talked about the whole thing. But to put it on the lighter side, I'm going to throw out some things. He was mentioning the place off of Brown Ave. Yeah. Put next to St. Francis. Yeah. Right. That was, we used to call it the sand pit. We used to be able to go there, and there was a road. You could actually take your car. I had a Delta 88, and you could actually take it all the way down to Londonderry, and at the end, you take a ride, you'd be at Stonyfield Farm. Yeah, that's, right. That's yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that, that's when they used to have the Ellens back then, the Ellens Resort. And I worked there, and then it became the Highlander Inn, and then I worked at the Highlander Inn. Wow. Yeah, so that's I a party see, spot. I, that's I a see. party spot there. How about, um... How about the ledge? Remember the ledge? Of course. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? I mean, I skied at the they, Elms. The corner, I dove yeah, at the ledge. Are you kidding it? me? <laughs> yeah, those were good old days. Now they have a fence around it, so you can't do it. But it was cool because when the cops used to come, you'd see them coming, and then you'd go around and you'd slide down McIntyre, and you'd be right, you'd be out, and they couldn't even catch you. Exactly. And, uh, so that was that one. How about um, uh, Tower Hill Road? How about Tower Hill Road? Tower Hill is another great place. 
Do you remember that? That was an excellent place. You it's remember still, that? It's still there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh God, it's still yeah, well, there. Great fishing. Well, they, well, they, well, the, the lake's still there, but they, they put like three big rocks in front of it so you can't do it. But no, no, you can still get around, up there. You, know, you can walk in there. You can't it. drive that in there. That used to be an awesome site. Yeah, you can't drive there. There was another place there. that they used to call Jungle Beach, which was down by Deerneck Bridge next to Rattlesnake Hill Road. And you take you take a right. It was a trail. You go in three quarters of a mile, and it was like this big beach, and the water was right there. And you could put a bonfire. Cops would never see you. It was awesome time. But that's when drinking age was eighteen. You know. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like yeah. I'll tell you what, guys. You can, I mean, you it can get away like, with that, you know? Not it sounds you know, like... Just a couple of sites that, just in case anyone out there is listening, they might remember some of those... This guy... Places exactly. were, I think they were this good guy. times. They were honest. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. Nobody got killed. You know? I think this you guy is you calling from the Devil's and girl, You're all set. Wow. <laughs> you know, somehow we made it home. and uh, But those were good times. But anyways... I let other other people could give you a call, but I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, very good, sir. Have a good night, thank guys. you. Thanks, thank Charlie. Great job. Yeah, okay, thank thanks. you so much, man. Wow, this wow. guy you on five. He was on fire. Or a pot of he was on fire, but he rattled off a bunch of great things. Oh, wow. great! Awesome. Like great a lot of good spots, and we like like I love that. I saw something on Facebook about Devil's Den in Auburn. I was thinking, oh yeah, we used to go up there too. God dang. But I, I thought he was going <laughs> to no go, go back to the about the uh, albino thing. I mean, I thought he wanted to mention the things about that. but What albino? The old albino that, that they used to scare people. Over by the, Devil's the Church? Side. Yeah. Not yeah, the west I side. Know. Oh, yeah, west side. When did she move over to Devil's Church? <laughs> I don't know about that. I thought the Devil's Church was up on... Uh, uh, yeah, it's gone. It's up no. on Wellington Hill, uh, old yeah, Wellington. Still there. No. Yeah, if you go up, if you go up Wellington Road, and take a right. Yeah, and where the uh, all the new places are. Someone call in right now. Is Devil's Church yeah, still, still there? Yeah, still there. Yeah. Or is it gone? No, no, it's still there. It's a, it's a. But I thought it was a condo complex or something up there. I don't think they took that. I think it's around that. But you know, <sighs> I think Devil's Church is. It was there. Uh, it was there when I was a kid? I have, no, no, it was there when I was a human. Uh, when was I a human? Back in your fifties. Eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it was still there. I was, you know, they all spray painted and shit like that. But you know, holy yeah, smoke! Wow. Nice, nice, jamming, nice. All right, let's get back to that uh, question. There's something yeah, that most women uh, won't do. I'm uh, not playing uh, this game uh, on a on a first date. What do you well, mean you're not playing? Go to a hotel room. They don't huh? pay. Go to a hotel. Well, pay room. is right. That the woman won't pay on the first. Yeah, what, what 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 yeah. number was it? That was number uh, uh the, the, the number three. Right. No, is and that only one, got four votes. Is number one go to the hotel room? No. Hi, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Devil's Church is gone. Devil's it Church is? is gone, T. It's gone. It's wow. it Devil's Church went to heaven. I'm gonna have to go oh, okay. up there, man. Okay, thanks, Carla. Wow, oh, I don't even. I so, have no clue. That's all I, says. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. Devil's I Church. Well, you're I from never Chelsea. heard of it. He never Chelsea. went. No, I'm, well, I'm, he I'm, I'm a he's, he's I'm Jewish. Chelsea. I'm a Chelsea dude. He's Jewish. He's I'm the a, only one that shaves his butt that we know in this room. So you shave your butt? Yeah, in my yeah, I shave my whole body. Yeah. What? No, you don't. Except what your head. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be smooth. <laughs> That's bull. That's bull. No, 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 no. I like to be smooth. That's bull because oh, we, we, I see you at the pool every summer, and I'm like, take your sweater off. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Ain't no sweater. That's my <laughs> so, um, can you guys come up with the number one answer for w have sex? What woman won't do in the first date? Have intercourse. No. I, I thought no. Uh, take you home to their parents. No. Let's guess this. We have to guess this number one answer. Number one answer wasn't go to the hotel room? We already got no. three X's. Jeez. John Eric O'Neill, can you, can well, you, get you want me to tell you what the number the, one the answer family is? Family feud X sound. I can't believe I got number two and I can't get number one. That's number crazy. one, I'll give you the no, answer. No, we don't want the answer. We want to guess. We have, 40 to, we have uh, well, 20 minutes left. No, you said the pay thing, right? Pay, so, so we're going to yeah. say what don't they do that. You know, I'm going to say this. I have an answer. No, me and T are going to be like... like uh, Huddling like the family's doing the other side because we got the we got the answer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, right I think I think we're gonna go with uh, Joel. Are you ready for our answer? 
I think we're going to go with, you agree? Yes. We're right. going to go with Drive. Bzzz. Oh, full. The, the Albinson family wins. <laughs> A new car. <laughs> yeah, what's the answer, you think? What, number one answer? Yeah. Pet the Peacock. Dad, but who's what gonna the say? How is gonna that? Say that? that? Yeah, so that was the number one answer. Pat the peacock. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. that's Pe a seepage, leakage, yeah. yeah. That was the num that was the number one. That was the number one. Number one oh. answer. Yeah, in his dream last night. It like, wasn't in my dream. That's ridiculous. No, it wasn't. I got, I, I got all see, the answers. Who says right Pat the peacock? Now, see, that's exactly. Th that's what it was. That's exactly like what I have here. Headlines that are crazy. Okay. You said, pet the peacock. What the heck does that mean? Of course. You whip it out and you pet it. Oh, my <clears> yeah, word. Sure. Okay, pal. That's all. Very, yeah. that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's the definition yeah. oh, of yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now. It's like this. A child, too, <laughs> survives falling into a cheetah pen at the zoo. Responders struggle moving a 700-pound man. Yeah, from New York, yeah. <laughs> dog recovering after falling down a cliff. I mean, those are the same kind of headlines. I mean, what the hell is going on over here? Pet the peacock. Why don't the responders take that child and take him over to a dog so they don't fall over the cliff? It's terrible. Unbelievable. I'm going to give you all the answers. Oh, yeah, you got them all. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, like, Number four was get married. Well, we knew that. Yeah, okay. I could have guessed the rest of them. And we, the, you were trying to do number one. And a, lot of, and a lot of women don't like to eat on the first day for some reason. Eat. That yeah, they the just like one. to drink. You know. Oh. Uh, and, yeah, this was a bizarre one. A fat contest. <laughs> Jesus, creepy. Oh, I gotta make that up. Where are you yeah. getting your information, yeah. though? And also, that's and, all and, illegal. And, and the seventh answer was drink and, and get sloshed. Oh, yeah. They don't do that on the first day. Oh, yeah. No, that's sure too they bad. Don't. Oh, yeah, sure they don't. So, well, that that was, but uh, they, the, the pet the peacock was pet number the peacock one. Huh? Was the peacock was number one peacock. answer. Oh, yeah. I Where'd yeah. you get that info? Well, how many times uh, you went on the first date, guys, in the grill? In, you know, did anybody pet your peacock? Where'd you, when'd on you the get? First date? I you, don't bring a peacock. I'm just a human, okay? I don't have got feathers that. flying out of my uh, yeah. my shorts. I don't have eyeballs on the end of my feathers going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's it. That's yeah, a, okay. Get he over. got that information from NBC. Yeah. Hi, you're uh, next yeah. tonight on Amsterdam. Good evening, Tita. Good evening, Moose. And T, guess who? Uh, it mean, must be Hump Day. It's Camel. Yes, hi. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, just great. Long day today for me. Good. Long day? Why? What you do? Oh, not too much. <laughs> not too much, though. No. Well, the Celtics pulled it off tonight. They did? Yes, they did, honey. Fantastic. Yes, they did. Oh, so you're watching the Celtics they game? They beat the Bucks. Oh yeah. Now oh, both the Bucks and the but Celtics. I just wanted to call and don't forget Saturday night, go to the Auburn pitch and see the best band in Amsterdam. Have a good night, guys. Wow. Thanks. Gamble. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Well, we haven't heard from. I like the Auburn pitch. Is a fun time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't yeah. say Ryan enough Rosa about on the Auburn pitch. Wednesday pits. night, make a popcorn and watch them Amsterdam. Doesn't get better. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh no. yeah. Yeah. Is that what you do on Saturday when you watch the replay? <laughs> as a, as a, I do make popcorn. Unless he's looking for somebody with a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we heard you like peacocks. You're fascinated with peacocks. I'm yeah, just telling you that uh, you know that's uh, that's the way you went down. I don't no. make any stuff up. You know, no. I'm accurate and everything well, else. I yeah. have to do a uh, what they call a public service announcement. Okay, T, we like those. There's a man. Who was uh, went to the bank on uh, Citizens on South Willow Street? I don't know if you heard about this. Okay. Okay. He goes in. I'm in. At 3 p.m. on Tuesday, and uh, he robs the bank, saying he has a weapon. Huh? You know, if you're saying you have a weapon, why didn't somebody just whack him in the back of the head right away? I can't believe it. The guy's six six two. With a fake red beard. That's my height. Blondish hair and a gray beanie hat. You know, I don't Sounds think Sounds like that, you're describing me. I don't think that's 
that much threatening. You know what I mean? Where, where's the your security in the bank that just went over and went, you know, cut his legs out and take the guy down? That was the last know, time you saw a security guard in, in, in any bank. I don't go to banks, so I don't know. He goes to, I, he I goes to credit, credit unions. unions. Yeah, I'm a Is credit, there a security guard at your credit union? Uh, no. Okay. You know why? Yeah, Gary Tibbetts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Uh, credit union is a mellow man. So. <laughs> no, I don't think. Did you just but, say you know, credit <laughs> unions are mellow men? Which is my favorite quote of the year so far. <laughs> credit you know, unions are mellow oh, men. Yeah. I mean, I've been having fun ever, ever since I got rid of the bank. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, seriously. The guy's like that, and, it, you know, he's threatening you when you don't have a weapon. I mean, you know, why didn't the girl just take whatever's there, a book or whatever? I mean, they got things like that, whack him in the head. I mean, I don't understand. So they let the guy get away with a certain amount of money, and, of course, they say, as he left the bank, we're the- not sure which direction he went in. <laughs> but he had red ink all over his hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, you know. Crazy oh, stuff happens around town here, but still, I love this city. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a crazy city. Hey, did you know in Nevada that they're going to legalize marijuana for pets? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm true story. So you're saying Medical if I... Medical marijuana so, pets, so Nevada lawmakers say yes. So now it's okay to give a shotgun hit to your own pet? Is you that what you're that telling right. me? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. It works great with peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are going to be bullshit. You know, you pull them out of the water and give them a hit, put them back in the water. That ain't going to work out. Wow. I don't think that's going to work that's, out. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, that, who that's the hell that. came up with a stupid thing like that? The, I'm politician. Nevada lawmakers <laughs> say yes to that, that they uh, oh, realize a marijuana for God. pets. Okay, oh, Lewis. And that's you're wondering why they carry guns. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a great story. Oh, that's good, but, good, uh, good. What else well, you got? I'll tell yeah. you, Moose, it's like my buddy. He worked out religiously. He worked out Christmas and Easter. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two times a year. Uh, wow, amazing, guys. Yeah, yeah, very, okay. very good. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, very classy. So it's 1050. Give us a call. Manchester DM, 413-0223. I'm, I'm wiped out tonight, guys. Like, just I had a long day. Uh, my mom had a thing. At yeah, the, that was tough. Well. She's good, Prayers though. Prayers to your mom. Yeah, she's great. Replacement no. hip, right? She, yeah, she's, she's so uh, she'll perfect. She'll be able to get up and, uh, you know, go go to the revivals that she does religiously. Yeah, yeah, she likes so lion dancing. She dancing and, uh, again and, you know, go yeah. mental. And, she'll be and, back in the saddle, Shelly. Yeah. Strong girl. Yeah, so get well, Miss Kathy. That's good. Very I know good. you're watching the show. No, I don't so, think she is. At the Elliott Hospital. I don't think she is. But, uh, hey, you never channel know. Channel 23 comes in on Channel 22 up there with no sound. Oh, oh, oh. Well, okay. they had to, you know, that's diversity. Well, I tried to call. <laughs> I tried to call here today, see if we could get our crack uh, uh, guy, John Eric O'Neill, up to the hospital, see if he could fix the TV, but he wouldn't do it. He, he, no, ever he's since busy. then, ever he, since then, we're barely, a, we're barely on speaking a, terms he's now. He's a very busy engineer. He cannot have time just to. He just does this, and he drives drop a train. the ball and go to a hospital, which, of course, it's only one TV. True. You know, only, You're right. And then he hustles uh, down on a Saturday night to film Roller Derby. When are we doing that? When? When, when do you want to do it? What do you mean? Is Roller Derby happening right now? Saturday nights. John Eric O'Neill at the JFK filming. I guess it's like so going so to Happy Saturday? Wheels. It was, I don't know if they do it every Saturday. but I, I, I got a gig this Saturday. By the way, well, you do have a gig this Saturday. I'll be at the Auburn Pits. The Auburn Pits. 8 to 12. On a Saturday for the night. the Spring Fling. So That's go good on stuff, on. man. But, uh, no, I'd love to go. Roller Derby is great. I would have so much fun uh, in the crowd yelling and coaching everyone, uh, the jammers, the blockers. Why don't we start know. our own team? 
Because I don't skate. But you guys are in your 60s, that's right. Let's use skateboards. <laughs> Let's use skateboards. Yeah, I, mean, I could gyrate, but yeah. I couldn't hit somebody. Right, you know. You have to realize my hitting days are over. When I was 30, I could hit anything. Yeah, but I now mean, look at you. You couldn't hit nothing. No. <laughs> now, now I'm like, you know, uh, uh, I'm like uh, you're like a big giant peacock. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. I could. I, 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 I see you later. You know, I got another bizarre story. A, I believe okay. that. Okay. How's this one? <laughs> a band. You know what? You know what a bandit is. You know. A guy, bandit. Yeah, bandit. Jail. Yeah, it, it, it's like a hostage. Right. Okay. For fifty. No. Ba- no. Bandit. That means he robbed. Like. Yeah. He's, a, okay. he's like Jesse James. Yeah. Nah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he yeah, wears a mask. Like an outlaw. Yeah. Yeah. A bandit okay. is an outlaw. Yeah, a bandit. Right. We know we're not ba- talking about chewing tobacco. Joe, we know what a bandit is. No, I'm, talking I'm, about I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you're not talking about chewing tobacco. You're talking about actual, you're talking about actual bandit. Yeah. Yes, okay, go. Okay. Now, this guy here, he was in jail for 15 years. He gets out and he go and, and then and then he robs the same store that he did 15 years ago and gets caught again. So after 15 years, why would you go back to the same store you robbed? Uh, well, I'm sure he's not Chinese. Uh, I don't know what he is. <laughs> See. <laughs> Perfect. How the hell do I supposed to know that? Because <laughs> those guys don't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> he doesn't oh, even get that. God. Too. He doesn't even oh, get that joke. I get that. Hey, uh, how about a couple? They went to a Chinese restaurant and had a lovely meal, right? And uh, they, at the end, they get the, uh, you know, uh, the fortune cookie. The wife opens up the fortune cookie and says, be quiet for a little while. The husband opens up the fortune cookie and says, talk, wa- talk while you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're next to that on Amsterdam. You hung up on him. All right, call back, caller. Did you? I thought we were going to call and order some food from the pint so they had it saved for us, and we forgot. No, yeah, we, uh, okay. Hi, you're next to Dan Amsterdam. I just wanted to inform you, gentlemen, that the governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, had what was called lap band surgery, and it resulted in an 85-pound loss. But incredibly, he said, made a statement, I think, here in New Hampshire, I will crack down and not commit legal marijuana as president. Do you think it's so that he doesn't get the munchies? Good I time. don't know. Oh, geez. Do you think, do you Johnny think, Hopwood. Do you think, do you think Chris do Christie... Do you think he does it so you doesn't get the <laughs> munchies? <laughs> Easy, you meat hook. I know you're sucking down some Frito-Lay right now, so get over it. Wow, wow. you and Hopwood wow. have, 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 have... We should have a charity a charity boxing match with you and John Hopwood. Yeah, why not? And, and That'd be hilarious. You know, I mean, uh, you know, the guy, of course, he had his, uh, you know, little lap surgery, so he... You think you know, John Hopwood's had lap it, band surgery? <laughs> no, no, John Hopwood, John Hopwood <laughs> is a, a very nice person. He is a great guy. He just got mental problems. <laughs> And that's why he's never been elected. <laughs> or late. Ah, I'm not sure. He could be elected tomorrow. We don't know. John but, Hopper, we love you out there, buddy. Well, Hoppy, you got to give me a hard time because, you know, you wear wigs and, you know. <laughs> he doesn't, and, he uh, doesn't wear wigs. And, you know, uh, women's clothing. So get over it there, you uh, thinking uh, uh, Bruce Jenner, uh, you know. How about that Bruce I, Jenner I interview tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. With Diane Sawyer. Oh, yeah. He's been changed. Hey, all I heard was the quote. He's been waiting for this his whole life. Yeah, what the hell you want to watch that for? Here's a guy who had a, who was an, an Olympic person. Has done uh, how many? I mean, multiple, multiple, multiple uh, speeches about uh, you know how to get this thing you know right. uh, to in, in, in uh, you know to help yourself. Get you think it's crazy, and right? Everything. And now here he is going. Well, you know, I'm letting my hair grow. I, I trimmed my, uh, and I. Your Adam's and apple. I, you know, and I might think about, you know, but I'm not gay. <laughs> I just want to be the woman I am. 
<laughs> okay, buddy, get over it. You know, give him a punch in the face, call it a day, see you later. Why I'm wouldn't not... someone punch him in the face for being such a dum dum? He's a dum dum. I mean, and why is like the media do it now, do it do it when you're in your twenties? Like I'm nothing against that. The only reason he's is because the Kardashians and everything, and they're yeah, promoting you know a new show. He's going to have a great new reality they're show. They're doing That's a what's show gonna about him. No, it's already in the books. Yeah, it's already in the books about him, how he made his. Anyone who watches those shows, I can't stand it. Yeah, I can't yeah. stand I mean, it. I can't great, either. you want to be transidentified? I mean, everything, everything, everything is out now. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, everything, you know, in the old days, which was like last like yesterday, year, uh, there were things that weren't so publicized. Now, right. everything, due to the media, everything's out. You know, oh, I've, you know, some girl falls down in a bar. It's on the media. And there it is. And the next day she says, oh, I didn't, why did you do it? Well, too bad. It, you know, you fell down. Tay, you're crazy. Us, took the pictures of it. It's over. You Tay, we I mean? got to wrap the show up. It's already about that time. But oh, about uh, hey, the, uh, really felt comfortable seeing your dad's bench today over Thank at the Elliott much. Hospital. Thank you very much. I love that. So that there. thing I put on Facebook this afternoon, yeah. over 103 hits. Thank like, you very like, much. It's crazy. He used to do the bingo up there. So this but show goes out to your dad. How about that? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. The old D O N N Tibbets. Well, uh, I guess we'll just see you next week. Yeah, yeah next week. Uh, Let's rock it. Uh, next week. Uh, uh, I, I hope you I, guys. Yeah. I hope you see yeah. you guys yeah, at the Auburn Pits, and yeah. uh, you know, remember, don't be afraid to be yourself. Right. Right. Nice. See you see next you. time.